But put, I want to I wanna share with you something that I hear on a regular basis. And that is, life is not fair. Put your hands up if you've ever said it, thought it, or heard somebody say it. Put your hands up. See, I remember when I was in Serbia playing for Great Britain. And straight away, there was so much tension between both teams. They had a thousand plus fans there who absolutely hated us. And a couple minutes into the game, you could tell that the referees were not on our side. So then we got to half time and we was losing. And at this stage, we felt like we was getting cheated out of the game. But I remember walking back to the changing rooms, everybody was moaning and complaining, saying that the refs are not fair. This isn't fair, including myself. But I, be, I remember being stood on the side in the changing rooms, looking around at everybody. Everybody looked defeated. And we still had a second half to play. And then one of our most influential coaches at the time, Coach Norman Navarro, stood up in front of us and delivered one of the most powerful speeches I have ever heard. And not only did it have an impact on me in that game, it still has an impact on me today, six years later. And he said, you are all saying life is unfair. But let me tell you something, whoever said life was fair, you got a decision, you continue to moan about it, or you can go back on the field and do something about it. That whole thing for me went a lot deeper than the game itself because I thought, do you know what, my parents getting a divorce, breaking up the whole family was not fair. I thought being 11 years old, stood on my mother's doorstep with one bag, waiting for somebody to come pick me up because she didn't want me there anymore, leaving me with no choice was not fair. But then I thought my grandmother, the only person I've ever felt genuine love from at that time, passing away was not fair. And then nobody ever told me life was fair. So I got a decision, do I play a victim to this for the rest of my life, not making any progress, or do I decide to do something about it? Accept that life isn't fair, but move forward anyway. And do you know what, regardless whether you win an award tonight, you are all here for a reason. You are all leaders, and you have so much to offer. And once you walk out that door, you're gonna meet and work with a wide range of different people and come in contact with individuals who's just gonna be talking and talking and talking, complaining and moaning, saying that life isn't fair. I don't want you to get caught up in that. I want you to lead from the front and show them that by just talking doesn't get you anywhere and there is another way. And that is to devise and implement a plan which will help you, support you, and benefit your life. And if you're ever sat there on a rainy day, thinking, what's the point, life's unfair, I honestly want you to cast your mind back to everything I've said today, reflect on it, and remember that life isn't fair. But at the same time, you've got a choice, and that choice is to either play a victim to it, or to do something about it. I want everybody to close your eyes right now. A common thing I really see every single year is that before the exams, probably a couple days before or a week before, I will receive messages after messages of students telling me that they're experiencing a lot of stress and pressure. 